What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 36 update. They changed the hitboxes for animals, added a new shooting range mission, and two new workshop bows. Well, let's get into it, shall we? So, Icarus Week 36 critical hit. Icarus Week 36 update critical hit. New hitbox design for animals. Introducing our new critical hit systems, target range mission, and two new orbital workshop crossbows. This week, we have revamped our critical hit system to provide a more dynamic and authentic combat experience that requires you to refine your precision and timing. The new hit area system is more realistic, dramatically reducing the damage delivered on enemies' protected and armored body parts, less critical areas, while also dealing more damage on their weak points critical areas. To help you adapt with this system, a new mission will place you in a target practice course. This will unlock unique blueprints to craft your own targets also, if you want to spend more time becoming a marksman with your weapon of choice. To wrap up an update of all things accuracy, two new crossbows have been introduced to the orbital workshop with a new set of bolts with both speed and power options. So they have revamped the critical hit uh, and hit area system in Icarus to provide a more accurate and detailed combat makes your critical shots a little bit more rewarding and essentially they tiered areas on animals that you can hit these new hit zones are extra weak which is a critical hit damage weak which is a partial critical hit damage hardened which is damage reduced extra hardened which is damaged greatly reduced and no damage is zero damage and as you can see here, they kind of give you a picture of what a normal damage would look like. This icon would pop up if you get an extra weak critical hit. And if you get an extra hardened damage reduced hit, you'll see like a little blue shield looking thing. Down below are all the hit types. These are all the types that you can get, which is extra hardened, hardened, normal, weak, extra weak, and no damage. Each zone as seen and mentioned above will have a unique associated icon displayed at impact to show you where your attack landed. This also means damage will scale. The blows landed to tougher parts will, of the foe will be dramatically less effective and put you in a compromising position. This work also opens up possibility of more non-Earth-like creatures in future with their own unique anatomy. And as mentioned before, there is a new mission, Pot Shot Training. Basically, what you do is you drop down on the planet and head to the target range. And your goal in this mission is to score a high score to unlock two targets. This new mission is located on Olympus and is directly accessible after you do live wire terrain scan. You could go to Pot Shot Training. From here, you could choose what difficulty you have and get your 10 or 5 Ren. So once you drop down, just bring up your map and go to the objective at the bottom of L11. And before we go any further, just to let you know, it's a spoilers on this mission. Once you get down to the shooting range, all you have to do is go over here to the right where it says weapons here and choose what weapons you want. You could take it all as well. And the objective of this mission is to shoot these targets. Like so. Or go over to the bear side and shoot the bears in the head. So what you do is you hit this button right here. that says start. Of course, the harder the mission, the more points you have to score. So on this hard hardcore, we have to score 250 to pass the mission.
everything. You did it, and lived to tell the tale. And after you complete the course, you can see your score there. We got 256, it looks like, that time. And you can keep running it as many times as you want. Just gotta click on this little bear statue here. And grab you some weapons out of the device inventory of the weapons here thing. And after that, you'll just upload. And after you upload, you'll have unlocked new craftable target dummy items. So there's two new crossbows available in the workshop. In the workshop, you'll see the Larkwell Bolt Bundle, which does 123 to 130 projectile damage, it is researched for 250 Rin and crafted for 50. You have the Inneris Rapid Crossbow here in the workshop, 25% projectile damage, 1% ammo capacity, 120 rate of fire per minute, and 2.5 seconds to reload. It costs 1,000 exotics to research, 400 to craft. You also have the Interest Heavy Crossbow, which is plus 25% projectile damage, 120 rate of fire, 4 seconds to reload, 10 critical damage with bows and crossbows, and plus 15% damage with bows and crossbows. It costs 1,000 exotics to research, 400 to craft. The first crossbow being the Interest Rapid Crossbow, and of course it shoots any kind of bolts, but we have a set of the Larkwell Martinez bolts here available, and that's kind of what the bow looks like. We also have the Interis Heavy crossbow, and that's kind of what it looks like there. So they're working a little bit more on dedicated servers and ongoing work of data decentralization, including dedicated servers. They have been tackling game flow issues, such as how players connect to the game, what happens when a player completes the uh, mission whenever they're offline, and etc. Also, before I forget, there are two targets. I'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like. This is the bear or the dummy target. And as you can see, it just says dummy target. Once you shoot it, as you can see, it does take a little bit of damage, but it can be repaired with a repair tool. You also have the more traditional bullseye target. And as well, it'll have to be repaired after a while. If you hit on the outside, you'll get the protected hit. If you hit in the middle, you'll get the critical. Protected. Critical. It also works for melee weapons as well. Which is a pretty neat. You can make these in your outpost or whatever. So we got this week's change log. We're going to go through it and, and tell you guys what's the most important parts of it. Under the new content, they added the new dummy and new mission. Added quite a few characters in for that. Added the base implementation for the target range system. Of course, they added the new crossbows. And added the Larkwell standard bolt item to the meta workshop. Added pot shot training and the bull's eyes. And under the fix, they only have a few things that I'll mention. They had a plus five and negative degrees uh, to the heating and cooling two forward deployables, which is probably the heating and air conditioning. Fixed issue where putting out fires by drinking would make players immune to fire and cause the burning modifier to fail. And under future content, it looks like they are working on the swamps, the tundras, and the lava biome. They also mentioned a little bit about mounts again and how they're working on those. And other than that, that looks like that's all for this week and the change log and guys that's it for this week don't forget if you like what you see to like comment and subscribe to the channel this week we will be having at least a friday stream we may have a saturday stream and we may be doing a building stream on that but we'll see i got a lot to do as far as my garden goes so unfortunately it kind of fell on this weekend but if we're feeling up to it we may be streaming saturday night so if that's the case i'll let you guys know on the discord and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.